the biggest thing that we're doing is we're pulling gigabytes of data out of building building sites monthly and kind of storing them off on a cloud and then start to look at different faults, look for performance issues. Fault detection and diagnostics, or FDDs, I mean, what that is about is, is making sense of the, the sea of data. Detection is simply having the data. So, hey, I have the history of the temperatures in this room for the last two years. So if they get a call, they can now take a look at data, you know, again, connecting the space to all the equipment is serving that space, and look for where there are anomalies. And again, with, with our kind of intelligence built in, say, okay, it's likely this. Say you have a, a hot zone. Uh, and you know, people are having warm complaints. What is your air handler doing? Are other VAV boxes being served by this air handler having the same issue? And just being able to take it back, you know, you could take it back to the chiller if you wanted to, you could take it back to outdoor temperature, humidity conditions. Uh, you can even, you know, take it back to the time of day. It's, there's lots of different uh, variables that you can look at and it kind of paints a really clear picture of what's going on. Then there's diagnosis hey, there's a problem with one of my pieces of equipment, help me figure out maybe why. So help me sift through you know, all the data and connect the dots to, it's air handler one on floor three, needs the belt broke, it needs to be fixed, boom, go. And then there's prognostics, that's where we're trying to go. I wanna know based on the last two years of this building, what are the problems I'm gonna have in the next year? That's the information we're trying to provide. That's where analytics really takes off.